Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Overthinking. Sounds a little bit strange, doesn't it? But do you know what? Very often I can be guilty of overthinking. And you may think that just seems a very, very simple admission to make. And why not just switch off? Why not just take a deep breath? Why not just walk away? And why not just get yourself together? You can often keep telling yourself, um, why, why are you doing this? Why can't you just get on with things? Exactly that. Overthinking can often take control and can often leave us feeling really flat, really down and really, really questioning things. Does it have to be much? No, it doesn't. It can be the most simplest thought which keeps going around and around your head. And you may think, why is it just not so simple to switch off? Because if you're naturally made, I don't want to say soft hearted, but I can be quite guilty of taking things to heart a lot. Um, I don't really have a sense of humour. I worry an awful lot. Um, I worry about the smallest of thing. But then I am a very tenacious, a very hard working, devoted person to everything I undertake. Now you may think, why am I doing this? Why am I talking about overthinking? At my channel, I came to YouTube, hopefully you would know from watching my channel, but I came to YouTube as a virtual journal. So the good and bad of the bumpy road of life. And very often acknowledging this, my channel as in my virtual journal, helps me look back on things, helps me feel positive and just sometimes getting it out there. Um, if I don't want to share something, um, then I will share it with my channel. And that seems strange, doesn't it? But then you don't actually see who you're sharing it with. Um, so in a way, that helps. That's a, a small coping mechanism for me. But recently, I have started a new job and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Um, but of course, we're in the middle of a really, really difficult time with the coronavirus pandemic. And we hear such awful stories all the time of all these amazing people who have lost their lives and in a way you cannot help but whatever good is going on with your life when you when we hear things like this it, it just makes you think and and it, and it's and it's just strange because at the moment we see no we see no closure no closure sort of coming um anytime soon um everything is affected, you can't do what you want, um, and of course that's for safety. We have to listen to the government's measures, um, and we have to follow these to stay safe and to look after ourselves and our loved ones, and of course to look after our NHS. We're told that over and over again, and I can appreciate that, but my goodness, recently, I would say about the last week, how my mind has felt with just overthinking things. For example, it could be the future. It could be, for example, this year, I've lost my Alaskan Malamute. So my best friend, my fluffy puppy, Alaskan Malamute Sabre. And he was 12, so not a puppy, but I would have never ever thought that we would have lost him the way he did. Um, we did, rather. And um, that plays my mind all the time. I wish I could have him back. I worry about the problems which I'm having at the moment, and I'll be honest, if you've seen my channel, I, through having hernia repairs and things like that, I have a very overactive bladder. Um, I have overactive bladder syndrome, and that is horrific. And I'm actually waiting to have surgery done for that, but I'm really going through a terrible time with that as well. In fact, it's really kind of debilitating at times. Um, I've got a lot of stresses and worries going on. Of course, I've started a new job, which is amazing, but working from home um, is good. But um, of course, it, it's difficult because nobody is around. Um, and in a world of social media and um, staying connected and things, it kind of is fantastic, but it kind of has a way of yet making you feel isolated as well um, in a strange roundabout way. But do you know what? All of that said, I just sometimes cannot seem to let things go. I wake up in the night, I'm never very good at nights at all, so I wake up during the night and I can be literally overthinking about, for example, on a weekend. So Friday, I'm worrying about what's going to happen Monday, and then I'm trying to switch myself off. And I kind of get switched off for about a couple of hours on Sunday, and then in the afternoon, I then switch off about, switch back on and worrying about what's happening for the week ahead. Strange, isn't it? But I cannot 
never just let things be um, and this can be for a whole host of reasons for example my grandmother i'm not able to see her at the moment my nana who i'm very close to because her where she stays um and she's looked after because she has alzheimer's she's in a very uh in a way she's privileged because she has a she's in a lovely place um and they really do look after her but all i can do is phone um but i can't actually see her you can't actually put your arms around her um and that's really difficult so that's really difficult for me at the moment um and of course for my mum which is her mum so that's difficult as well and just all of us as a family it's really difficult but um just worrying lately it seems to be a real issue for me i have to admit and overthinking so just constantly mind full on the throttle all the time thinking about everything and anything um yeah I wonder how many other people out there are having that at the moment, I have to admit, and it's difficult to stay happy, it's difficult to stay positive. And you know what, the way I can describe it, it's almost like a cloud comes over me. Um, yesterday was a horrendous day for it. I was really down in a lot of pain and discomfort. I'm waiting another hernia repair, my third one, and I was in a lot of pain and discomfort with that. Um, so that was really getting me down. Um, but yeah, having sort of... Um, real real awful sort of uh times of everything feeling quite low quite down um worrying about the future worrying about when everything's going to come back together worrying about am i going to get my career on track with this new job is it going to be everything um you can imagine can't you all those what's ifs why all those questions um so a whole host of things going on but you know as i'm talking it kind of almost only ever so slightly makes me feel a little bit more lighter do you know what? one of my coping mechanisms when i get into this type of mode is i go for a walk i go for a walk usually on my own only for a short walk unfortunately because i place my side up but literally just trying to take note of the things outside of what's going on in your own head and sometimes it's really difficult to switch off from what's going on in your mind and it can be literally worrying about the smallest of thing to the very very largest of things um and another thing which is really, really good is mindfulness. And that is really difficult in itself to master. But I tried this once, and this is going back some years now, when I took my my, my saber, my Alaska Malamalt, out um, in the garden very late at night uh, for his last trip. Um, uh, and when we were out there, the moon was shining. It was an absolutely perfectly clear moon with all stars. And I can remember him using the bathroom up in the garden and um, coming down the garden and then sort of just being by me ever so slightly and I can remember his face and I can remember looking up in the moon and I can remember this clear moon. So that's my mindfulness image and my easiest way of describing mindfulness is taking a moment outside of everything that's going on, concentrating on an image in your head. Um, so for me it was that and just concentrating on it and for a couple of minutes just concentrating on the if you're outside the sounds possibly the leaves rustling possibly wind across your face your skin um just taking note of the small things but just concentrating on that one image sometimes it helps but it's really difficult to master and it's really difficult um it's certainly not easy it sounds simple but it's certainly not but i read it can be a really great mechanism um for coping with things such as stress now and overthinking i say overthinking i am a very naturally stressful person anyway I, as i say i worry about everything um sort of my upcoming exams all being cancelled i worry about that i worry about i'm nearly 27 and i'm not married and i haven't <laughs> i haven't found this amazing wife and children and everything like that so i worry about that I haven't bought my first house i'm worried about that um you get you get the type of person i am don't you really um and then I get this whole gloominess come over me and it really starts sort of crashing down and it's difficult to come back up, I have to admit. But yeah, absolutely. So this whole sort of section, this clip, what I am doing this evening is all about telling my kind of virtual sort of online journal through YouTube that overthinking stress during this coronavirus pandemic, like many, many others, is a real issue for me at the moment and it has been for about the last week um 
really starting to take its toll. But I'm staying positive, I'm trying mindfulness, I'm going for those walks. Of course, what we're allowed to do with social distancing and things, so please don't think I'm ignoring that because I'm certainly not. Um, and I'm a big advocate for staying at home, so if you can stay at home, of course, I'm working from home. But um, yeah, such a huge, huge thing and lots going on. Um, and it sounds, I, I feel awful and really guilty saying it because of all these poor people have lost their lives and what their families must be going through. And my heart and my very, very love and best wishes goes out to them. It must be unthinkable words fail me it really it really really is such a dreadful time for a lot of people um in a way i worry about that that makes me feel really awful as well because saying something like that when all of these awful things are going on but again this is a, a virtual sort of entry on my virtual journal um road bumpy road of life good and bad and this is what's troubling me at the moment so hopefully it will pass, but I'm sure after this that there will probably, unfortunately, be a lot of people in my situation really getting a little bit down. I don't want to use the word depressed because I find it far too overused in society. Because um, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm just slightly low at the moment. And I don't want to take that away from other people who are going through really awful things and they are genuinely depressed. I don't want to take that away from anybody at all because I'm not. I'm just having a low time like a lot of people are, I imagine, in the middle of this real troubling and testing time. And emotions aren't the easiest to talk about either, are they? My mum and dad are amazing. My mum is kind of the person as like a, my best friend who I kind of talk to about everything. But I have amazing brothers. I have amazing dad um, who I've got to talk to. But it's funny, isn't it? We usually just have one kind of person who you naturally sort of you tell. Um, the rest, you want to keep a level of pride up and hard sort of armour. Um, that's like me anyway. Um, but yeah, it's my nan and my mum who I kind of talk to. And my twin, I have to admit. But yeah, you may think that's strange, even though my nan has dementia, but she does have a way still of understanding. Um, and yeah, I miss her absolutely loads and um, can't wait to see her. OK, so there's me trying to be positive. Um, like I'm sure a lot of people are feeling this way at the moment, but we just have to keep going. We have to keep staying together, keep strong, stay safe. And do you know what? This I do feel a bit lighter talking about this on my channel. And that's why I wanted to do this, talking about overthinking, sort of stress. Um, but but yeah. So thank you very much for watching my clip. Um, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.